Standing here on a hillside in uh, rural Latakia, I've come on a mission on behalf of the whole UN. I'm acting resident coordinator uh, this week, um, but we've come to see the damage caused by wildfires that ripped through this area about uh, four days ago. I mean, as you can see, um, the olive trees are, uh, are not in good shape. We reckon there are about 90 fire locations across the governorate and possibly up to 10,000 hectares of land. Uh, initial estimates are probably 28,000 families uh, have been affected by these wildfires. Olives uh, are really one of the few options that can, that can grow in these kind of conditions. You can see the, 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 sto the stony soil behind me. Uh, there isn't much water either. The problem when you get a fire like this is that uh, you can put back the olives, but it will take between five and 10 years for them to produce. These trees here behind me are probably 25 years old. Uh, they were full of fruit. Um, I picked up a few from the ground. They're all blackened and burnt, and there's only one or two left on the trees. Uh, nothing can be harvested here, it's all gone. What the farmers really need uh, here is uh, some means of livelihood that will support them until their olive production can come back. Well, that's a long-term exercise. It's gonna take some time. As you can imagine, when the fire came through here, um, there, were, there must have been panic and terrible scenes, people trying to get away and save themselves, save their houses, save their, uh, their, their family and whatever. A, a number of people were displaced uh, for a relatively short period of time to the city, to the nearby towns and so on. More or less uh, are all coming back to try and clean up and try and figure out what to do next. Uh, as I said, the, the, the harvest was about to take place, um, so it must be heartbreaking for these farmers to see the situation that their, their land's in now. Yeah, yesterday we were out on another field talking to, a, talking to one of the farmers directly and he said he, uh, he was uh, farming 500 olive trees uh, for him and his three brothers. The trees had been planted about 25 years ago. His, his mother had planted the trees. She was in tears when she saw what happened. Really the whole thing was, uh, was really uh, very upsetting for them and so on. And really it's the only option that they have here. We can help them, we can bring back uh, the olive production, we can bring back some of the livelihood options as well, but it really requires an integrated approach um, across uh, the, the stakeholders in the area. Uh, there's a need for short-term assistance, uh, humanitarian assistance, there's also a need for development uh, programs, development assistance to try and get the agriculture-based livelihoods going again here. That's probably really all I can say right now for the situation, but um, we're hoping that um, uh, we can work over the coming months together with the uh, with the other agencies, with the, with the Department of Agriculture, with uh, SARC and the other uh, humanitarian partners in this area to, to try and uh, bring some re relief and some, and some uh, hope back for these, uh, these farmers on these hillsides.